Hey guys, I'm going to show you today really quickly how to use Canva specifically to create logos uh, that can cross all formats um, and file formats. I know that this can be a really frustrating aspect for designers and creatives. Uh, I mean, designers generally know how to do this, but if you don't have a designer or um, you're just trying to work out how to get your logo in a format that you can use as um, like a social media icon or uh, on your website specifically, you need to have your logo or your name in a format that can be translated into that particular file. So here's some little designery hacks and secrets that really I use. I think it's just as easy to to utilize a program like Canva even though it's not technically made for creating logos. You can do it uh, you can do it just by working within their system. So for logos for a website let's say we want to use um, something about a thousand pixels wide which I think is a pretty decent option. You can always scale it a little bit smaller but I think that's a good average size. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this Instagram post because it's square and it's useful also to know what your logo looks like in a square. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this as a template and it's opening up here and I'm going to show you basically how to create something really super simple and as a designer it's actually one of our greatest pleasures to have something really simple to work with so let's just say we're going to use a square you can see in Canva you can add all kinds of shapes and um, borders that are shapes and you can use those as logos so I'm just going to use a simple black shape and then I am going to add text and in Canva again you they just try to simplify this for you they can you can add a heading a subheading this just depends on how big of a size of font it is and then you can actually change that later so it totally doesn't matter just you know maybe one step closer to your final final work I'm just sort of looking through here at some of their um, pre-designed for uh, layouts and options sometimes those help like you know that looks like a logo to me nothing complicated there same with that so you could always bring something like that in and design it according to what your uh, tastes and, and what your branding is gonna look like but again I'm going super simple so I'm gonna add a heading and here we are the heading uh, is automatically in this font let's use something that will show up at a distance because if this ends up being really small uh, you're gonna want to see it so I'm just you know again you can choose according to uh, I'm gonna change the color to white let's see what we look like in here so what's the name of my company I'm just gonna call it Margot Madison now I'm gonna select this and make it larger by changing the point size up here let's see how big we want to go Let's try this and <laughs> I can't help but be a designer sorry I've got to uh, let me see if I can change the spacing so you can change the spacing in the line height I'm gonna push that there and I'm gonna push my line spacing out just a smidge and move this down again I like how that's bleeding off there. Note that you can change the color of your text here. You can move it around, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever. If you wanted this to be the entire box or leave like a little square outside of that box, just take that, bring the edges out, you change the size, you can change the angle. I'm gonna do the same thing here, just increase the type size. Um, and I can even go Let's see if it'll let me go higher. I can actually type in what I want. Let's just say we're going to do that. Knock it down there on the bottom. There's my cool logo. It's right now in a square format. You could change this around. You're going to look at, uh, if you look at my font, uh, sorry, my logo list of needs for your website, you'll see there are a couple of other <clears throat> um, options and formats you're going to be needing for a variety of forms but let's just go and I'm gonna show you how to download 
It's going to automatically download as a ping. It's automatically going to do a transparent background, which means that whatever is not white, and you're going to have to remember whatever is not white, which is actually this border here is not white. This is white, so it will never be able to show through as clear. Uh, you probably actually find a way to do that within Canva. Or you can change it to a PDF standard, PDF print, or a JPEG file. So remember, if you look at that list of what I suggested, you're going to need a couple of different formats. And uh, a JPEG will not allow transparency around the logo. The ping will. So I always include the ping. Uh, that way I can always make sure that I can put it on a photograph or a colored background. It won't have a weird white or black box around it that I do not want. And so it automatically you'll get a transparent background. I'm just out, of just out of curiosity. Yeah, it's not even offering that transparent background. So that helps you realize this is what you want. Now we just download. It's going to save the design. That was 100% free. I think that took me under eight minutes, I bet. And boom, the logo is ready. And you'll be able to upload that to your website and put it in your branding folders for later so you don't have to do this again and uh, that's how I'm making logos using Canva even you can do it without any design programs at all totally awesome format thanks everyone talk to you soon